Hi, welcome back to the weekend edition of Stories at Work. Stories that you can use in business. First of all, thank you very much for all the concerns and the best wishes you sent while I was dealing with a medical emergency at home. That's why we missed the last four weeks. But now we are back again. Let's start today's story. In 1968, Dr. Spencer Silva was working in a lab in 3M. He was trying to create ultra-strong adhesives, adhesives that could be used in aircraft construction. In one set of experiments, something curious happened, exactly opposite of what he was trying to create. This experiment landed up giving him something called microspheres. Microspheres created instead of ultra-strong adhesives, ultra-weak adhesives. Adhesives that were very good at sticking, but they peeled off very easily. He started thinking about what uses this could be put to and started evangelizing this new adhesive in the company. No one seems to be too interested. The only thing that happened was they created a bulletin board that was covered with this adhesive where people could come and put their bulletins and take them off when the, the period had expired. But he believed that there could be more uses. So he started weekly lunchtime seminars where he talked about the adhesive and their properties and urged people to find uses for it. He started being called Mr. Persistent because of what he wanted to do. In the same company, there was a person called Art Fry. One day during his golf rounds, Art Fry was talking to a colleague who told him about Dr. Spencer Silver's discovery. Intrigued, he visited one of those lunchtime seminars and then filed away the information in his head. Then one day, he had his Eureka moment. Now, Art Fry used to sing in the church the hymns that he used to sing. Now, every Wednesday, he would practice the hymns and then he would put little pieces of paper on the areas in the hymnal which would be sung the next Sunday. But come next Sunday, those pieces of paper would always fall off. And that's when suddenly he had an idea and excitedly thought that the adhesive that was created by Dr. Spencer Silver might be the answer. So next morning, all excited, he went to Dr. Sp Spencer Silver's lab, took some adhesive and created some bookmarks, which he put in the book of hymns, the hymnal. And it worked. It didn't fall off. The only problem was when he removed the bookmarks, they used to leave behind a bit of adhesive. So for the next few weeks, he worked with Dr. Spencer Silver and found a way to make sure that problem went away. Excited again about what the possibilities were, he now distributed the bookmark among many of his colleagues. The colleagues found the concept exciting, interesting, but not very useful. Now, Art Fry believed that there could be more uses, and he kept thinking about it. Now, one day, he had a second Eureka moment. He was writing a report, and when he finished it, he wanted a point of view of his boss. So he took out one of his bookmarks and wrote the point he wanted feedback on and stuck it on top of the report and sent it to his boss. The boss approved the report and in the same bookmark wrote the answer and stuck it back on the report that he sent back. When the report came back with the bookmark stuck on it and the boss's comment, he realized that there was potential for a widespread use of the product. So he made these pads full of bookmarks and sent it to many colleagues. And this was a great success. He remembers how various colleagues would wade through knee-deep snow to get their replacement pads. This also excited the company. And in 1977, under the brand name Press and Peel, they launched this sticky note product, but it failed. Consumers didn't seem to have any use for it. Now, the team, however, believed in it and thought the issue was to get enough sampling. And so in an event now called by in the company the Blois Blitz, they went to this town called Blois in uh, Idaho, the state of Idaho in the US and distributed it far and wide. And this time, it was a success. 95% of people who tried the product said that they would buy it. And thus, the post-it was born. And the yellow color? Just the coincidence. The only scrap paper that was available in the lab when Art Fry and Dr. Silver made the sticky notes, they found only yellow paper. What a lovely story. Where in business can you use this story? Well, in many places. The first is to talk about the value of persistence. The story is full of it. First, we had Dr. Silver's persistence to take those lunchtime seminars to explain the value of the product. Then Art Fry's persistence to make the product 
very good and not to be satisfied with those little adhesives sticking up to, after the bookmark. And finally, the sales team's persistence to find a way to make the product a success. The second is you could talk about collaboration. Now, there was no way this would only happen if we had either Dr. Spencer Silver or just Art Fry. It is when both of them got together, one with the discovery, the other with the idea, that magic happened. The third is about taking initiative. Art Fry took the initiative first of working with Dr. Silver to perfect the product and then took the initiative of sending those bookmarks initially to the colleagues and it failed and again taking the initiative of creating those sticky notes and making those pads for the colleagues. I hope you enjoyed the story. You'll find many more, in fact 35 more in our YouTube channel. Do go across and subscribe so that you get every of these episodes. We also have a WhatsApp group where if you subscribe, we can send you a copy of this video so that you can share it with your colleagues and your team. Thanks for watching.